his birthday and it's like birthing birthing the team when Rachel said she's birthed this team it's like of course she's the Bertha <laughs> so um yeah well thank you all for for coming and for being here and I appreciate you know there's like some kid noise and my little son just built a truck out of cardboard boxes and it's like all on his skate he has like these skateboards underneath and he's like mom look at my you know and so now there's just like lots of commotion happening and you know it's just life over here in, in Kauai but um I just really want to appreciate um I remember when you all got started and at that point Rachel and I weren't really working closely together although I think I did send her a message to be like do you want to get me on the phone with these living like what's going there's like all oh, these amazing millennials and they're just like rocking it. And I was like, you know, like really feeling so drawn somehow to what you're doing and who you are. Like I could just feel you. And, um, you know, it's taken a minute, but I just want to really appreciate the fact that now this is happening because there's, um, you know, what I think I would imagine that what you were doing in the past to make this business work and what we're doing currently you know, in this space that we're in may be different. And so I want to kind of, you know, just put that, like, put that little piece in there The the, you know, whatever may have happened for you all in the past. Um, there's a huge wide open road of um, forward momentum happening right now. And there's a very easy system that we've created to make that happen. So um, I will share a little bit more about that in a minute, but first I just also wanna really appreciate you, Rachel. And um, I just, uh, you know, I adore you. And I have been so incredibly overjoyed to have you come back home <laughs> to the Bliss Ohana. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know our secret name, we, we masquerade as superfood.social, but we're really the Bliss Ohana. Um, and it just feels really, really great to be uh, working together again. What's up, baby? Okay, can you just leave it on the front there? That's fine. Thank you. Um, and so, you know, we're just, we're, we're like, we like to treat our business kind of like this big, uh, um, it's like a, a ceremony and a party <laughs> um and like overlaid on this incredible way to make a huge impact on the world and make a very powerful in, uh, income doing the same thing so it's kind of like these these beautiful like this community experience and then also um you know, doing good works in this world because that's really what this world needs right now. And it has needed for quite a long time, but, um, you know, we're in a period of time and I'm just curious, like if any of you, I'd love to just hear, see in the comments and I will open it up to hear your voices in a minute, but um, I'd love to just see in the chat, like what is it that you all are doing right now um, for income and has that changed for you? Oh, we lost Natalie. Um, has that like has your income changed over the past five or six months since um, you know since the world got turned upside down by whatever it is that's turning it upside down? Well, there's lots of different theories about about that. We won't go into that. Um, okay, very good, beautiful. So this is an energy work, and how and you know I'm just curious to see like has your income gone up or down since the change, I'll just call it that, since the change. <laughs> um, because what I've seen, and you can just let, you know, um, down, okay, in-person healing, yeah, that's a, well, no longer, okay, in in income decreased a lot, yeah. And, um, you know, over the past few months, what I've really kind of started to see, and, and there is this, like, transformation happening income-wise for so many people, but there's also, um, Oh, that's awesome, Jolene. So you're still, and are you going into the hospitals? Are they letting you, or do you mostly do home birth? Um, prenatal yoga, massage doula services. Yep. Oh, foot fairy work. Yay. Okay, beautiful. Well, you know, I'm just going to bring in this, this vision that I've had recently, and then I want to open it up and just kind of hear a little bit from you ladies and like where, you know, where you have been with Perium, what's your vision, what would you, what would you love to see come through this? And then I'll tell you a little of my story as well. But the vision that I had um, a couple months ago was 
this vision that there's sort of like this split that's happening. And actually I heard someone say um, that the split has already happened and the split is kind of this um, space between people who, who are, who are like moving forward and people who aren't right. Hey, Natalie's back. Yay. So Natalie, I'm just sharing my, this vision that I had. And we're in the comments we were sharing if our income, what, what we've been doing for money and if that's gone up or down because of since COVID started, if you'd like to share. But there's this, this vision that, I, you know, and it's sort of like when, when I heard someone say that, oh, the split has already happened and she was really referring to a split in consciousness of the people who are, you know, who are moving forward, who are like have the resilience or have the vision or whatever are, are moving forward and the people who are kind of like not on that trajectory, either they're stuck or they're moving backwards and they're really in the suffering space with what's going on here. Um, and so I thought that was really interesting. And then I started to, to get these visuals of this. It was actually like an iceberg or iceberg breaking off. And sorry, if this is like way out of, you know, like this is kind of, I kind of work like in this like imagery place and you know I, I kind of have a feeling y'all can hang with me here um <laughs> but you know that there's this like this iceberg has been breaking off and there's like this you know those of us who are really here and excited to and ready to and working towards creating a new earth where you know where we're actually shifting things into a positive direction for the collective we're kind of splitting off and I saw this vision of Perium as being, it came in and I just almost started crying. Actually, I was, I was sharing this on a Zoom one day and I did start crying. <laughs> so, but it was like that Perium is like this, um, you know, the little lifeguard rafts that are at the, at the pool or, you know, here at, at, in Kauai, we have those like yellow things at the beaches with no lifeguards and you can like paddle out with, with them if you need to. If someone's drowning, you can grab the yellow floaty. Um, but that really what we have and what our role can be, should we choose to accept it, should we choose to accept our mission, it is to really, number one, yes, like support and propel forward the movement that's already happening here that people are being drawn to, but also to take this bridge of Purim, this, this life raft and throw it across the divide and throw it to the people who maybe still want to come over, but don't know how to, or maybe don't even know that they want to yet, but that there is this way to move people still, even though some people believe that the split has already happened. Like, I feel like that there's still room. There's still room for more. And that, you know, this has been, I feel like the magnetism, there's so many people I think who are waking up right now and saying, wow, there's something better. There's something different. There's something more for me in this world than what I have been doing. And this is one of the common themes is like since COVID started and now all of a sudden I have more time with my family. I'm not going to, on this, you know, running around crazy, working my brain off. Um, you know, I'm not as busy or I'm not as like stuck in traffic or, you know, I'm getting uh, residual income from the government that I'm not working for. And wow, this feels nice to have like these just checks coming in every week. Like I want more of that, right? That there's so many people in this moment who have been cracked open that their worldview, their like stagnant worldview of like, this is the way it's going to be for me forever, and I don't even want to think about it because it's just, I'm on this path. All of a sudden that's opened up and there's this realm where people are like, whoa, like there's so much, there's so many other possible realities that I could be plugging into all of a sudden that there's just a lot of inquiry. There's a lot of openness in the field right now of people looking for something different um, for the first time in their lives, many of them. And so that's kind of where I feel you know, what's the, the greater possibility that we're living in right now and why Perium is growing so much is because there's so many prayers out there for a change. And that has really been how I've always held my business. And this was a huge answer to my prayers. Um, and an answer that I never would have, I, it took me a minute to like, 
<laughs> you know, to be like, to get over my own skepticism and my own like, oh, like, you know, my own trauma, gateway drug to health. Yeah. <laughs> um, like that, my own trauma around MLMs and like what they meant and what that would make me and, you know, all my, all my own baggage. Um, it took me a minute. But when I finally said, okay, I'm going to take a look at this because I can see how it may have maybe an answer to all these prayers that I've been laying down. Um, then I chose to really dive in and go for it. I never looked back. It's been completely mind blowing <laughs> what's happened. Um, not just for me personally, but to be able to have impacted now almost 35,000 lives. Um, through this work and to be supporting so many, you know, so many people who I've grown to love who I didn't even know before. I'm like, oh, every, every time I'm on, a, I'm on a connect call, I'm like, oh my God, like, where have you been all my life? I can't believe that like, we haven't met before, you know, this is such a juicy conversation. And it's just like bringing in all these incredible souls who are, you know, who are on a mission to, to bring something through. And um, so it's a beautiful collective and, you know, I just want to kind of give a plug for the system that we have now, which is um, have any of you been on one of the, one of my masterminds or one of the masterminds through the new, through Superfood Social or Bliss Ohana? Like just, just raise your hand if you have. Okay. So Meg, Reagan. Okay. So Natalie, Natalie and Jolene have not yet been. Okay. So, um, Just would you... so, you know, Natalie, Claire, and Jolene is about to sign up today. Oh, Natalie Jolene! Up and awesome. A few seconds, and um, yeah, and Natalie Bertha's been traveling, so she's just kind of coming back in. Yeah, I've been on boats for a little bit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And then Natalie, Claire, you just enrolled, correct? Like pretty recently. Yeah, this this week. Yes. Welcome. I saw your website. Rachel sent that to me. I was like, what? <laughs> that's Thank amazing you. amazing amazing <laughs> beautiful yeah so what rachel can do is send out um so mondays i do a call or we do a call within the community that's kind of like a you know where we we all start the week together with what's what i like to call you know recommitting and cult continuing to cultivate our why like why we're here so every monday we start out the week with like getting back into why we're here, whether that's, you know, helping millions of people, getting healthy, but more specifically, like what's our financial reason? And that question is, you know, if you had an unlimited budget right now, what would you be doing that's different from what you're doing now? Like if all of a sudden tomorrow you won the bajillion dollar lottery and you never had to think about money again, what are the first five things that you would do? Um, so we start the week every, every week with that call. And then we talk about, you know, some of the basics. So I'm actually going to invite Rachel to send you Monday's call um, to just pop that recording into this thread. It is about an hour long, but I think that that's going to be a very, and Meg, were you on that call? I'd love to have you just share um, a little bit about, you know, what, what, what some of the takeaways were from that. Okay. pull out her notebooks um yeah i forget way back right. when <laughs> i'm gonna get some fresh air oh rage can you check the mutes babe um okay. okay you gotta unmute sarah meg you, you're not you don't need to like give us like you know the full like, oh, this quote or anything like that, but just like energetically, like what was your feeling? If you can put yourself back in that, in that space, like what was your feeling of being in that? You're muted, Rachel, Rachel muted you. Oh, <laughs> well, I hey. always, I always love the Monday calls because I feel like it's just so potent to tap back into my why. And like the visual you took us through with planet possibility, 
that really struck me because I've been feeling like there's so much untapped potential within our world, within our bodies, that when we can tap back into that and really believe in ourselves and what we have here, um, yeah, it took me on a journey to like this fairyland and like coming out with a little crystal that I can keep within my heart to just come back to and remember why I'm doing this work. And it's, it's powerful. Like, and I love how you lead with your why because I, I feel so strong in my vision and what I want to create in my life. And like, I want people to know that because that's what's really dear to my heart. And I want to know their why. So that's what's most important to me. So I appreciate you just bringing that up all the time. Mm, thank you so much, Meg. Beautiful. Yeah. And that's really, you know, um, in terms of sharing and Jolene, I just want to welcome you and Natalie and Natalie Claire, like for, you're so, you know, Jolene, you haven't even enrolled yet. So welcome to this little portal that I'm bringing you into, like, welcome to the whole, the wormhole here. Um, and Natalie Claire, you know, it's just beautiful that you're here as well. And I'm really excited to be dropping in with this particular like little pod regularly and supporting you and, and Rachel as well. Um, but really, you know, just to kind of give you a sense of, of how we do what we do, at least how I do what I do and how I've taught people to do it, um, to create growth in this business is not to go around and be like, Hey, like I'm doing this Purium cleanse. Like you should do it too. It's so good for you. I I can see that you might need to, you know, change this about your life or hey, you need money or you know to like really not to like approach someone with what you see as their challenge, but rather to share with someone or to seek out what it is that they're praying for. And to reflect that back to how that's similar to our prayers. And this is really how, you know, if you guys check out my social media, um, it's Bliss Mother on Instagram. And so that's really like a reflection of how I share is, is really attracting people to me who have a similar prayer as me, or at least who can see that they could resonate with me based on what, you know, based on what I'm sharing, not based on what I'm sharing about Purium, but based on how I'm sharing of myself. And I think that, you know, that's a really, oh, Natalie, yay. You know, that's just, it's, I think it's a little bit different way to hold it than the way that a lot of people are trained to do this business where it's like, just, you know, jump on top of somebody and like, just, bombard them until they say yes you know that's actually kind of how I was approached and I finally got over it you know but um but like you know there's a different way we're farmers we're not hunters so yeah I'm gonna kind of just pause there and I'd love to hear um maybe Natalie actually or or Reagan if you want to jump in and just share a little about you know Natalie I'd love to hear where you are you're just back in Hawaii now and like um a little bit about what your why is, you know, if there's anything currently lighting you up about Perium and um, yeah, just where you are with your process. Yeah. Um, I think that, I mean, I've always been really passionate about the plastic free movement and the state of our environment. And like when I, before I left the Island, uh, before I found Perium, I was getting plastic free alternatives in farmers markets and like just really struggling to even break even with that. And um, it's always been something that weighs on my heart really heavily, like the microplastics and just everything that we're putting into our oceans. And so for me to like, when I was, I was really struggling as a vegan and to learn about how to supplement my health and actually see the return on my investment for buying superfoods was life changing. And then to be able to do it in a way that I could compost and not be contributing to the plastic waste on the planet was 
life changing. So I think it, I see it as like my like public duty <laughs> to share and to pay it forward and to make that information available to people. And um, yeah, just doing the best that I can to human in a way that feels light to me. And I think that's what really drives me. Healing is what drives me, seeing people that are tired of being in pain and not having to be in pain anymore um, is really what I think feeds my soul. So that's kind of what drives me right now. Beautiful. And, and I'm curious if you had, um, well, first of all, yes, yes to everything that you just shared, you know, like microplastics, plastics, um, human suffering, unnecessary food related illnesses and all these, you know, this is, this yeah. is the, the world that we're living in right now. And we have, you know, every choice that we make, every moment of our, of our lives, we're making a choice. Yeah. And, you know, to be able to make different choices and support others. So um, all that being said, Natalie, I'm curious to know, like, you know, in relationship to that question that I answered, <clears throat> that I asked, um, you know, if you had an unlimited if you won the billion dollar lottery tomorrow, you know, outside of like, you know, saving the world and like feeding the people and doing that, like, what would you do for yourself that's different? Or what would you, you know, like, what would, you, how would your personal life and the way that you, that you yeah. move the world shift? Yeah. Um, I'm doing a lot of it. I think like buying land would be a big one. Um, for me, I've always wanted to be able to like, plant fruit trees before I have babies that's been a big goal of mine um and but I think I, I mean like I just got out of a rolfing appointment so that's like awesome. I'm investing I know you do rolfing who, who's, that, your rolfer? Who, who's who the rolfer yeah well the one I, I've been working with Terry but I also did a session with um Barry in Honolulu as well he's like one of the older guys Barry, been yeah Barry Nutter yeah uh-huh. Terry's closer so I've been doing it with her and I actually really like it she does the zero point embodiment <laughs> here in Haliva. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, I think just like investing more in my own healing and, um, like my own bliss, I'd like to do more, like organize more trips, going to go diving with whales or, um, yeah, just like more high frequency containers where people can activate and ascend and transcend a lot of the stuff that we've been carrying for generations. I think would be on my top list of to-dos. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. And how much do you think that would take you per month? Like, mm. how much do I think that would take me per month? Like, like, let's well, say if you had a number coming in per month, how, you know, what would be significant? Well, for you? I mean, the mortgage for like my dream properties right now would be like around 7k a month. But I think actually I'd want to go bigger than that. So like at least 10k a month. Great. Beautiful. Yeah. So, you know, just as a, like a zoom out, I was making 10,000 a month by the end of my first year Imperium. Mm. Um, and Rachel was making that, I think faster. Yeah. Rachel was at, Rachel was crowned in 18 months, um, which is 15,000 a month. And I was, yeah. I was, I think I made it to crown at around that same speed. So, yeah. um, you were faster. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think it was like, well, anyway, right around the same. You, yeah. So, so that's, you know, how would that like feeling into that vision of like getting there in a year, does that feel slow or fast to you? Um, well, so I have multiple sources of income. So mm-hmm. like, to do it all through Perium feels a little bit fast. And I, so I'm interested in learning from you, Sarah, like how I can do this without having to spend an extra like three to four hours on the phone, like a day or even like a week, because I'm already on like yesterday, I was on like five hours worth of calls. And then like, I just, I can't really pile on more on myself, but I do like, I really, I try to put out content on social media and like share through my website and get as much information out there to people as possible. But I, I like the whole like connect call framework was, it was really, really hard for me. Yeah. Um, but that being said, like I'm, so I, I get myself aligned for certain like financial plateaus and then however it comes in, perfect, it comes in, but that being said, I do think that I, I like I've limited myself somewhat by saying like I'm not available for a certain amount of like 
contact with PM. Like energetically, I think I'm putting that out still mm -hmm. because I don't feel like I have the capacity to carry people through all the information. Yeah. Natalie somehow saw through that like lip like screen that I had out there, <laughs> like at the universe and <laughs> slid under my radar. <laughs> so yep. here we are, which like you're totally perfect for everything about my personality because you just like went ahead and did it. Um, but yeah, I think that if you have any advice on like streamlining this and making it, um, being able to have that kind of impact, um, and also like, I guess, transcend the guilt that comes along with like not being able to do it exactly as I've been taught to do it. Okay. I don't want to break any of that structure either. So let me know anybody, what you think. Anybody else like feeling this, this feeling of like, oh my God, like, the guilt, the shame, like the connect calls. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so I also had that, had that same response to my business um, a few years ago and it was pretty challenging for me. And so that was part of the reason why I like created my whole own, basically own system with this because I don't, have the time to it's just like to just continuously be adding more and more connect calls to my life because I have more and more people like that's not that that's not my vision like my vision and just to give you all like a you know another little zoom out I have five red diamond and above legs in my organization different legs and all of those leaders are conspiring together to retire me. They're like, we just want to retire Sarah so that w someone will retire us. And they're actually really close. Like I'm like, as soon as everyone is solid crown, which is going to be in a couple months, I'm going to take some major time off from my business. And also when I had my baby, I took six months off from the phone completely. Like I didn't touch the phone. And I kept on, my, my income kept growing. So in terms of the system, now this is my question for all of you, which is, are you, you know, with, with that $10,000 a month vision, Natalie, like does 10 hours a week for Perium feel like too much? That feels like too much? Okay. Yeah, I'm like minimal, like, <laughs> I mean, that sounds really bad, but I think I just, okay. it doesn't uh, sound I'm bad. so driven by healing that like I'm doing so I'm like booked out right now and I'm slammed with sessions. And like, I actually had my first seven K week, like a few what? weeks ago, which was super exciting. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'm really, that's where a lot of my energy is just naturally being vortexed into the universe right now is like working with people in that capacity. And so for me to like get on a call or zoom, it's like, I'm at a point where I feel like I want to get this information out to other people and other leaders and other healers. They can also use it as like a, a resource for their business and like for their clients, because that's the way that it has naturally been for me. But I'm struggling to feel like I can activate people into making this like their full-time income because like it's, it just hasn't been like the universe is saying like, this is your funnel, you know, but I do think it's something that I wholeheartedly like put my like word and my passion and my, like my vote behind because I, be, I believe in it so much. I don't go anywhere without it and it's totally changed my life. So if you have any advice for me on how I can activate and shift those beliefs, yes. like I'm totally open. Absolutely. So, but I'm just letting you know where okay. I'm at. <laughs> so first of all, I'm going to give you my, our system. Now we have an onboarding system that we're actually refining. So here's what, here's the trajectory. Like there's two ways, there's two people that we're, that we're reaching out to through Perium. Customers and brand partners. Okay, so customers, you know, customers usually pretty much take care of. Personally, I do not get on the phone with someone if they just want product. I mean, per, if they're like personal people and they're people that I know and they're like, oh, you know, like get me give me like the download or whatever, like, you know, but usually I will just send them links and then 
I'll just be like, okay, I think you should do this. And then I send them the, like the website and they order it, you know, unless it's someone where like, I really want to make sure that I connect with this person so they know about the business opportunity. So then this is like very probably, you know, a little bit different from the system that you guys were like, you know, so I'm different. <laughs> And it's good to learn from lots of different people because you, you, you received a lot of amazing stuff from that system and you know maybe your system will fall somewhere in the middle. I'm also in a different place in my business. Um, but the way that I share is geared towards people who want to do the business. So I actually signed up my first two customers in probably like eight or 10 months, maybe even maybe even longer than a year. I got my first two customers in over a year the other day because I've been so much like in my, you know, so much sharing period that I had people that just naturally reached out and wanted to buy product. That's very rare for me. Most of the people who reach out to me about Perium and most of the people that I talk to about Perium reach out to me because they want to do the business. Because I share about financial freedom. I share about, you know, like the community, I share about my visions, my why, my, my financial why. So those are the two kind of avatars that we have. I like to play in the business realm. That's the, that's the most powerful way to create transformation for ourselves and for other people. And to make a big ripple effect is to have people who are also hubs. Like you said, Natalie, exactly, you know, like to, to turn on the lights in these other hubs so that each one of those people can then reach more and more and more people. So <clears throat> from that, from these two avatars, there's two ways that we connect with them. Through reaching out directly and through social media. And actually even through social media, we still reach out to them directly, but through attracting and telling our story on social media. So, I'm going to kind of run you through this trajectory. Now, if it was me, Natalie, doing, doing, running your business, what I would do is I would start to share more about my, you know, my vision for, I don't know how much, I haven't actually seen your social media, so I'm not sure how many followers you have or anything, but, you know, to really create these, these, like, these trajectories, and you can look at my highlights on my stories to see how I share um, and if you're doing a magic, you know, it might be kind of similar, like, this is what I care about, like this, you know, being with my kids at the beach and da, da, da. Start to share that story arc and then see who's following you. And if you want to just put in like a couple 90 minute time blocks a week where you just go through your Instagram, see who's giving you energy and start little conversations with them. And then when someone's interested, I just share one of our Sunday calls, a recording or a live, and that can stand in as a connect call. So when you get someone to watch a 30 minute call that breaks down our business, that you know gives them the mission and the vision, that shows them what's possible, and then, um, and then you can connect them with Rachel if you want to, or you can help them enroll and then have Rachel do an onboarding call or if you really want to be hands off, you can help them enroll and send them, you know, to our Monday call. But we also have the Superfood Social slash partners page, which is an onboarding site. So as soon as you enroll someone, you know, like I would say, spend more of the time. If you're going to put any time into Perium, spend the time being really intentional with who you're working with, who you're bringing in who's connecting, you know, who you're like praying about, like, like intentionally putting energy towards as they're responding to you, connecting them with the information and links that really spell out who we are and what we're doing and like what we feel like, helping them enroll and then plugging them right into our system through Rachel and not feeling like you need to be on 10,000 connect calls to find out like if this person who wants to buy a shake would be a great business partner. <laughs> like they might be, but like, you know, we don't need to be forcing them to do stuff. Like I personally run my business like this. I'll, I'm going to zoom out here again for a second, which is if I had a thousand new brand partners coming into my business every month, if I just had the funnel set up and there was like a thousand new brand partners coming into my, 
into my business every month, how would I be discerning who are the people who are the ones who are ready to do this, who want to do this, who are going to take this and grab my energy that I'm giving them and magnetize my and magnify my energy 10,000 fold. Um, rather than being like, okay, how do I convince this like one person that I enrolled to want to do the business? <laughs> like, uh, you know, like, come on, like you have to do this with me. So I have, I just hold it in a little bit different way, which is like from a full on abundance mentality of like, there's a million people out there who would love to do what we're doing. And I want to find the people who really want to do it and give them the tools so that they can do it and see who rises to the top and then give those people energy. So, um, you know, again, it's not to say that this is like a very brief training around this, but it's just a perspective here, you know, like there's many, there's like a whole continuum of how to observe, how to work with our business that falls in between these two realms. And, you know, but I think that that may be, I'm just curious, like, how does that land for you? Does that feel like a different? Yeah, that feels totally different. And I also just want to communicate to like everyone that's on this call, like, I love working with my team members. I love being on the phone with you guys because I actually really like you. I just don't want to be like on the phone with a bunch of random people, like answering a bunch of questions all the time. Um, that, but like, I think, yeah, it makes a lot more sense. And I think there are people that are gonna slip, like Natalie is a perfect example of someone who just like slipped underneath all of the boundaries and walls I had put up and just like wanted it and knew it was in alignment for her and is ready to go run with it and kind of like me like I just decided I was going to do this for me and she drove all the way to LA you know because I wanted it and so I think like working with people who really want this and get it and are ready to like put it out there and share it authentically really does drive me but I think yeah that's much more abundant mentality of just knowing that people are going to come and then choosing to connect with those people that are really giving you their energy and yeah. that want to be there active yeah yeah. And that's really how, you know, my driving, like my, my navigation system is who's giving me energy. It's not, I mean, even when I write my list, you know, I don't go there. I don't go to my list and like start bombarding the people on my list with like, Hey, you like do this with me, do this with me. I just like throw out some energy to a lot of people. And then I wait and see who gives me energy back. And that's where I start. And then I just give them a little more energy. And if they keep giving me energy back, then that's the person that I'm in, that, that I'm connected to, you know, and if some, and then if I give some energy to someone over here and they, you know, they give me some back and then they ghost me, I'm like, Oh, they'll come back around. Like I'm just over here, like, you know, like just seeing who's interested, seeing who wants this, like, you know, so it's very unemotional for me now where I don't get like devastated if somebody doesn't respond to me or if someone says no, or I'm just like, oh, you'll come back around. Like, and if you don't, that's cool. <laughs> you know, cause I'm like, I have so many people that want this. Like I can hardly even keep up with all of them, you know? And it's just, it's not that I really have that, like, you know, I'm not being bombarded by people who are trying to join my business, but it's a mental, it's like a, it's a mental shift of me being like, you know, I have this amount of time and I'm going to give it to the people who are going to, and I picture it like I have a flashlight. This is my light. This is my energy that I have to give. And I'm looking for the prisms, you know, those little like crystal faceted balls, like hanging in the windows. And I want to shine my light on those people and not shine my light on the wall where it just absorbs all my energy. And I'm like, ah, I can't see it's still dark in here. You know, like maybe if I shine my light, like, more on the, on the wall it'll like no it's so it's you know it really is a dance and it's not to say too just really quickly that like if someone doesn't activate right away that they're you know a dud or that we just throw them away or anything because people have their people like really for me this is a process of people oftentimes stepping into their self-worth I have those little balls. Yeah. Right. So just look at those and just connect with them with your consciousness and say, I'm looking for you. Like you could even every morning, like sit up and look at that ball and say, this is what I'm calling into my business. And like form that relate, like that, you know, that relationship with that imagery for you. Like this is, this is who you're looking for. Like you're not interested in just leaking energy all over the place. And, you know, it's, it's about, it's about, this is about, um, 
really opening up channels for our for for our for ourselves to reach farther out. So um, yeah, and so basically, you know, what I what I've witnessed over the years is that it's also a process of really claiming our self worth, and that as you know, as we kind of progress down this path, it is almost for me more like an initiation process than a you know, then like a business, like ranks and, you know, income goals, like, it's like, okay, in order for me to energetically to become a diamond, like I need to be feeling like this about myself, about this business, my belief has to be like this, you know, and I need to be a resonant match for people who are coming in because they want to change their finance, their financial reality. You know, like I need to be in that energy in order for those people to find me. And then crown is a whole nother thing where it's like, okay, then I need to be able to like have, you know, clear boundaries and like know my worth, like in these whole other ways. So there's, you know, there's so many different stair steps to this, but it is, um, you know, it's, it's very, very powerfully transformational in so many different ways. Um, and yeah. And Natalie Claire, I can't wait to connect with you, girl. I, I kind of like just, you know, often we'll do this on a, on a Zoom where I like start just kind of doing a little working one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Um, but I would love to just open up and hear your voice and welcome you and um, just touch base and hear like, you know, just briefly what called you here and where you'd love to be going with this. Yeah, well, that definitely wasn't just a one on one because everything that you were saying I needed to hear as well. Yeah, um, I'm definitely like one of my blocks was very much like convincing people like, how do I convince people to join or like that they're going to make money if I don't even feel confident that I'm capable of making money. So it's like, but the, the energetic mindset shift is, yeah, everything you were saying was resonating. Um, but yeah, I I found um, Perium through Natalie. I had been following her on Instagram, <laughs> and then I was I was having a ton of health issues, and mm -hmm. definitely um, I tried Biomedic, and it shifted me really quickly within like a day. <laughs> wow. Even though I'd been trying like everything for the past year to like have my like energy back, um, and so that the glyphosate and all that kind of motivated me, but then. I kept feeling like spirit being like, Perium, Perium, like be a brand partner. And then mostly I wanted to like share the nutritional aspect. But then once I got in and I was like, oh, like you actually like take people on this journey with you. I wasn't fully resonating with like all the ways of doing it. And I wasn't sure like how it made sense with me because I'm not a pushing person. I was even thinking about that before I was getting on the phone call today. I'm like, I just like, I, I can't push things. That's not my energy. Like nothing works when I push. Mm -hmm. And um, so, yeah, so it's like all divinely aligned being on this call and being mm -hmm. like hearing you. And I understand now like why the universe brought me to this place um, mm -hmm. right now. So, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. That's so beautiful. And um, yeah, you know, this is, this. we're like, we, we really, I feel personally like Perium is like an energetic being. Like there is a consciousness here. There is, you know, there is a, there is a deeper purpose here and that, you know, we're just calling all our people together. Like Perium is a she for me. She <laughs> like, you know, she just like reaches out her little like taps, you know, oh, hi, remember me? Like I remember actually, so this may, be like a really weird analogy but I remember um that I don't even know if I should bring this in but I can okay I'm just gonna do it because if you if you don't resonate with this just let go of it but um I have been in different plant medicine communities throughout my life and I remember one um one description of the certain plant medicine and the community surrounding it that it was like a community that would reincarnate throughout different like, periods of time like different ages and that it was always um the same soul group that was connected and so that medicine would like reach out and bring bring together all the souls from like multiple different lifetimes that have been working together and so um i that's that's just like what i feel you know when i meet people through perium many times not all the time and sometimes I'm like oh like ugh, I don't know 
<laughs> yeah, but what I like when I usually when I get on a connect call with someone, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I could just sit here and talk to you for ten thousand hours. Like I've known you forever, um, and here we are back again together to do the work. Mm. And so, I'm definitely feeling that right now. And Reagan, hi down there, hi over there. You're like. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to invite Rachel to just share the, the replay from Monday, if you haven't seen it, just to share that in our thread. And then also, um, you know, to, to set you up. Natalie, have you checked out the partners page? Have you gotten there and seen some of the, the initial trainings at all? Yeah, I have. Okay, great. So, um, what I'm going to invite you to do is to go ahead and print out the um, action plan and some tracker sheets. Yeah, I actually. Oh, look at you. Uh, <laughs> beautiful. So go ahead and pop that action plan up in our group, in our Facebook okay. group, and tag us. And then if you want to even like write a couple um, takeaways from the Zoom, you know, that you've gotten and like where you are and, and, and let's get you to the fast start. Um, awesome. You're still there. Hey, Natalie, she's back. Um, and then um, Reagan, I'd love to just hear like a tiny bit from you as well. And just hear where you are right now. I see you with your baby. Um, I just gave mine to pop up. Yes. For a bit. Yeah, he, uh, he's been with dad for like the last hour or so, but he's done. Um, he's over it now. So <laughs> he just needed some milk. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I joined Puriam back in April with Natalie Bertha, and I was just really, really struggling with brain fog and postpartum rage. Like, <laughs> irrational <laughs> injury. It didn't make any sense. And so I got on Biomedic and noticed a difference within two weeks. And so then I was like, okay, this is like real stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's eating. Thanks. <laughs> um, and so then I was like, if I'm going to tell people about this, then I might as well get paid for it. And cancer runs on both sides of my family. And so noticing like all of the links between glyphosate and cancer, I was like, this has got to be something that I can share with all of my family and like help them be healthier. So that's a really big motivation for me as well. But I don't ever want to have to go back to work. Like after Mikhail was born, I had to pump like, five times a day while I was at work, like on commutes on the North Shore of Hawaii, like while I'm driving, pumping, and I never, ever want to do that ever again. And I feel like so many moms deserve to be able to spend time with their baby and not have to be plagued with the idea that they can't afford it. Like it's, it's just that way. So that's what I'm passionate about. It's like helping people realize they're worth the investment so that they can help their children realize that they're worth the investment yeah that's where i'm at beautiful so here's what i want you to do reagan is what's the highest rank that you've gotten to um i think i hit consultant okay in June. okay great so we're gonna get you to director this month are you ready yeah totally my goal was executive so great okay let's get you to executive this month yeah. so here's how you're gonna do it i want you to go onto your social media and share that story about you driving to work and pumping. I'm serious. Like, yeah, that is your story. That is your why, because what you want, you're not looking for, I mean, you are looking for moms who are like, I really want to change the way that I'm feeling my body. And what you're really looking for are moms who are like, I am not willing to keep going, doing this, for another day and I know there has to be another way to live my life and I am focused on that. I'm speaking that, I'm looking for that because when you share from that space, you're gonna find people who get started right away and instantly are ready to start to share the business before their products come. Cool, yeah, I'll do that. Awesome. And then tag those, po tag whatever posts you do, tag them at superfood.social so that we can repost them in our Instagram. Okay. Uh, and yeah, let's, 
you know, let's get you there. I mean, you just need brand partners who are going to rock it out. And like, <laughs> that's the brand partner. So, I mean, every mom is going to read that and resonate. Yeah. You know, I mean, you don't have to say, I was tired of pumping. So then I started working with Perium and it was yeah. so awesome. And like, Perium's the best. And who wants to join my team? You know, it's like, just share your story. And then when people resonate with it, like it and comment on it, then you're going to start in the background, connect with those people, start to form the relationships and ask them, you know, like, I'm curious if I send you some info, would you want to check it out? Cause this has totally changed my life. Totally. Yeah. I feel that. Thank you. Yay. All right. Well, I have to jump. Um, I'm 15 minutes like I was 15 minutes late for this one because the girl that I was on the Zoom that I was talking to before was 15 minutes late. And it's like just crazy how like my internal clock just turns off at an hour. So <laughs> I couldn't end her call like even though I was trying. It just took an hour, um, but it was worth it. So thank you all so much, ladies, for being here. And uh, definitely watch Monday's call if you didn't already watch that. Just watch, like listen to it like a podcast in the background. Um, it is a YouTube video, but I like, put it on and listen to it. Dropped it in the thread. It's in there. And thank you so much for sharing this time and space with me. And um, I'm just really excited to see, you know, all of you receive what you're desiring to from this in a way that feels good, inspiring, um, and, and like joyful and energized and rejuvenating and all the things um and also you know to be here to support each of you when you're not feeling that way to be able to really lean into the growth of the challenge so thank, thank you. you love you all and, and i'm like i just oh i can't believe it's taking me this long my to phone i think my Thanks, connection Sarah. is weak i don't know if you guys can hear me we got you, Rach, but I got to jump off. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Recorded. Yay. <laughs> Yay, it was recorded. And I dropped um, that link into our little team thread, so in our little group that, I, that we, for today. So you can, like, go ahead and get that link and, and watch Monday's call. Love you all. I'm so excited to welcome you to the, um, please join us on um, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. If you guys can hear me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.